Hi, I'm just me. And I'm Ralgash. Shark Week. I kind of like sharks. And I guess I should explain Shark Week. I don't really know how to explain Shark Week. It's a whole week where they do shark movies, shark documentaries, shark videos. The Discovery Channel Network uh, devotes an entire week to all things shark. So like science shark and nature shark and baby shark, like all of the science and information that we've like, I don't know, collected over the year, they like put it into a week and teach us all about sharks and sharky things. And something a lot of people don't know about sharks is that some of them do, in fact, live in Canada. Disclaimer. Sharks live in the ocean. The ocean is a really, 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 really freaking big place and touches all of the continents in the entire world. So, no sharks live in one place. All of these sharks live in more than one country, but... You can find them in Canada, so we're calling them Canadian Sharks. Number five. Blue Shark. Blue Sharks can be found all over the world, off the coast of every continent except Antarctica. They can grow up to 3.8 meters or 12 feet long and can swim up to 35 kilometers per hour or 22 miles per hour. As a result of their speed and power, they are popular with the sport fishermen worldwide. Useless fact, in the novel Jaws, it's a blue shark that Quint guts and then feeds to its own insides, too. I did not care for that book. Number four, Mako Shark. Much like the blue shark, Mako Sharks are widespread and seem to be comfortable in almost all temperatures. They also grow to about the same size as blues, 12 feet. Makos, however, can outrun the blue at speeds of up to 74 kilometers an hour or 46 miles per hour. They feed on swordfish and other large prey like tuna and dolphins. Makos also like to fly. <laughs> Using their super speed, they can launch themselves up to 9 meters or 30 feet into the air. And no one seems to know why. They just, they just like it, apparently. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Number three, the six gill shark. Six gill sharks get their name from the simple fact that they have six gills instead of five, like most other sharks. Another bizarre feature of the six gill is the fact that it does not have a dorsal fin on its back. Six gills are deep water sharks that have been documented in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of British Columbia. They can grow up to eight meters long but scavenge their food from the ocean floor rather than actively hunting. It's weird they don't have dorsal fins. It's weird. They have one on their tail, but not on their back. It's weird. <clears throat> Number two, basking sharks. I love these things. Basking sharks are the second largest fish in the world after the whale shark. Adults can reach up to 8 meters or 26 feet. They live in the Atlantic Ocean and are often seen in the Bay of Fundy in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. In fact, in 1851, one of the largest specimens in history was measured at 12 meters or 40 feet after being trapped in a net in the Bay of Fundy. Thankfully, these huge horrifying monsters only eat plankton and don't even have real teeth. They use gill rakes to filter feed. It's still scary though. Number one, Greenland shark. Greenland sharks are one of the only few truly subarctic sharks preferring near freezing temperatures. They can grow up to 6.4 meters or 21 feet long, making them some of the biggest sharks in the world. However, they are very slow with a maximum speed of just 2.6 kilometers per hour or 1.6 miles per hour. They feed on almost anything from herring and cod to whole reindeer and are thought to be able to live over 200 years. It helps that they are never caught for food because their meat is actually poisonous. 
They can also have a parasite that attaches itself to their eyes and blinds them. But of all the strange things about this shark, its propensity to be found upstream in the St. Lawrence and Saguenay rivers in Quebec is what makes it our number one Canadian shark. Another interesting fact, um, Greenland sharks found in the St. Lawrence have fewer cases of eye parasite than the ones found in the Saguenay River. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. The Saguenay River. There you go. So, there you go. That's our pick for the top five Canadian sharks. So that happened! Like this if you like this. Dislike this if you dislike this. Comment. Subscribe for new videos every Monday and Friday. And share. I'm going to stop pretending like I'm not reading it off the wall. Join us <laughs> next time when we do something else. Bye. Bye. <laughs>